Okay, hi guys. Uh, welcome to your Hodler AMA session. Thank you for your questions. We've got some interesting questions uh, to my list uh, and I'm happy to, to provide you with uh, all answers. So let's begin. Um, of course, I have the most frequent question related to the market drop, recent market drop. So, well, um, what can I say? There was a crypto hood again. Um, a few days ago, so we can definitely call it like a hood again because it was mass liquidations across the market. It was a lot of technical issues uh, on different service providers, even even some big exchanges were down for some period of time. So it was a hood again. But let's maybe go into some details. Uh, I'd like to comment uh, several topics. So first, let's speak about liquidations. Unfortunately, it's a market reality. So. Uh, if uh, price drops below uh, the price down limit level, below margin call level, um, companies have to liquidate positions. It's something uh, automatic and unfortunately there is no way, way, way to avoid uh, liquidations. The good point about liquidation uh, is that uh, if we speak about loan service, crypto back lending service, actually <coughs> uh, there were plenty of opportunities to buy uh, many cryptos even cheaper. Uh, because uh, uh, during that correction time, it was uh, some some nice opportunity to to buy Bitcoin even cheaper, uh, Ethereum much cheaper, and all that stuff. So it's just a, one positive side of of uh, the correction. So, but again, uh, key point about liquidation uh, is that it's it's just a market. So, of course, it's not very very positive. Uh, it's not positive at all actually. But market is market. So the second point uh, I'd like to comment is about uh, stability uh, during the period of uh, high loads, uh, during the period of hurricanes like happened a few days ago. So again, uh, the entire market was affected. Uh, it was um, a lot of, uh, it, definitely it was, it was a big issue for all networks and for all service providers. That's why, uh, again, all service providers were affected. So some of uh, big exchanges were down uh, for a few hours. Uh, and I'm speaking here about some big names. So as for you, Hodler, we, uh, our downtime was, uh, was uh, almost zero. So we were fully operational. But of course, uh, during some short period of time, um, it was one and a half hour, platform was a bit laggy. So. Uh, we've got a huge load on all our databases. We've got uh, CPU usage uh, up to almost 100%. So, and due to this heavy load, uh, platform again was was laggy. So, of course, that resulted into some complaints we've got to our customer support. So, uh, and we are working with them on a case by case basis. And you know, the good point uh, about you, Hodler, and I'm really happy to 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 tell that is that our customer support is uh, um, very responsive. Uh, we are um, open to discuss everything uh, almost 24 seven. And I'm happy to compare your hodler with other platforms. I don't believe that if, if you'll send your complaint to even some big and trusted exchange, uh, you probably will get uh, feedback like, like in a week. So we are responding very fast. We are very open and um, we are very customer centric. So uh, another point about stability is that, uh, you know, we have invested a lot of funds and a lot of efforts to add more capacities to, to all our systems. Um, um, so during the last week, so we, we did a great job and now we can handle hurricanes even bigger. So. Uh, I would say that uh, with uh, some upgrades, uh, probably you noticed that a that few days ago it was a system um, uh, maintenance for half an hour or so, um, early in the morning, European morning. So we have uh, added a lot of uh, um, additional resources and again now we can handle uh, much more heavy load, like 10 times bigger, so 10 times more. Uh, that's a good news. So let's move next. So the second question was about sustainability of the platform and high load resistance. So I believe I, I, I have already answered that, that question. 
So let's move to the next question. Uh, yeah, this is about um, uh, security. So uh, do you have any updates in regards to security of the platform, security of the funds deposited to the platform? Uh, actually, yes, we have uh, some updates. So as you know, we always pay great attention to, to security topic. So uh, we have uh, own complex system of hot, warm, cold wallets. We have a freezer. Uh, so we have Ledger Vault integrated with um, uh, um, uh, pooled crime insurance up to 150 million on top of that. So uh, as for the news, um, we are almost finish, uh, finished integration of additional layer of security um, uh, that uh, was built uh, because of our uh, partnership with uh, Fireblocks. So official announcement will come soon, but I can already tell you that Fireblocks integration will be finished soon and uh, it will add just additional features, security features to the platform and that's, that's great. So uh, and as for security guys, I have some, some, some you know, important message for you. Uh, I know that some of you do not use two-factor authentication. So please go and, and uh, uh, activate your two-factor authentication now. So we have different options for two-factor uh, authentication. We cannot force you, but we can strongly recommend you to go and activate two-factor authentication. This is very important. And by the way, we actually have even three-factor authentication. And if you're interested in more protection, please go to the help desk portal or contact our customer support and activate uh, three-factor authentication. Uh, so let's go to the next question. Uh, so the next question is about the United States of America. Uh, when will you start on accepting US customers? Uh, thank you for this question. Uh, I don't have a simple answer because, you know, we operate um, uh, f legally uh, and we cannot actually accept U.S. customers yet. Uh, but the good news is that we have started uh, paperwork in regards to entering the American market. Uh, but to be fully honest and transparent, uh, the uh, earliest a time when we will be able to onboard the very first American customer will be uh, like um, uh, first quarter of 2022. So um, uh, in, uh, realistically, maybe it will take even longer, uh, but this is the reality. We still focused on Europe. Uh, as for America, uh, we need to do a lot of paperwork. We have started, but it, uh, it will take some time. So. Please, please stay tuned. Uh, um, uh, okay, so <laughs> funny. So the next question is about uh, the United Kingdom. So the previous one was about uh, the US, now it's about UK. So Brexit and can UK users still use your services? So look, we don't have uh, presence in the United Kingdom. Uh, we do not actively target uh, UK but our platform is open for, for uh, UK customers. So yeah, if you are a UK uh, person, yeah, you can go to our website and you, or you can go to, to the Apple Store or Google Play and then simply use our application. Yeah, it's opened. Okay, next question. Next question is about uh, when ADA coin. <laughs> yeah, good question, quite popular. So guys, we have some roadmap uh, in regards to integration of new blockchains. Um, the next will be Polkadot, then it will be Tezos, and uh, we plan to have uh, Tezos and Polkadot uh, released uh, uh, in June, pretty much soon. So Ada will come next, so hopefully in July. Okay, so moving next. Okay. Uh, how can you offer 12% APR for such a long period of time? Yeah, good question, quite popular. So look, we have a very well balanced portfolio. So portfolio of different products and services on the platform. So we uh, get our revenues uh, from crypto back lending services, different type of crypto back lending services. Uh, it's a revenue generation uh, source for us. 
uh, and uh, interest uh, accounts, re crypto rewards is, of course, it's a cost for us. But the portfolio is very well balanced and we monitor uh, it on online 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, so uh, to give you some ideas about figures, so we pay up to 12% on um, uh, cryptos uh, as interest and we earn from 15% uh, um, revenues uh, from our crypto back lending services so it's very well balanced so we, we, we can handle that it works so next question what is with, with uh, the bank cards when it will be available again yeah thank you thank you for this question so uh, it's related to some issues with the bank card withdrawals in, in some countries so yes we have this issue uh, for some countries, uh, we, 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 we uh, cannot provide bank card uh, withdrawals at, at, at the moment uh, because of some issues on the service provider side. Actually, it's not something easy um, uh, to, to um, you know, speak about credit card services for crypto companies. And uh, there, are, there are not so many stable service providers uh, at this uh, field. But uh, the good news, um, is that we are working on the topic and uh, we have short-term solution and we have a long-term solution, solid solution. So as for the short-term solution, we are simply going to replace unstable service providers. And we need like up to one month more to, to, to complete this work uh, for, for countries where we have these this, uh, issues. So as for the long-term solution, uh, we are working on our own card processing. So. It's a big work, it's a big project. Uh, it will take, to be fully transparent, it will take around, honestly, one year to build our own processing. So, but finally, after um, uh, uh, we will get uh, everything, you know, done, uh, uh, deployed and everything, so everything will be stable just because it will be our own processing, not something external. So. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, okay, so when we will be able to place pending orders? Uh, very good question. So, as you can see, uh, we are always improving our uh, services like multi hodl like loans, like turbos, and we have very, very detailed roadmap for, for um, uh, different products, including multi hodl So, and pending orders, limit orders are on that roadmap uh, as well as other features such as um, dark mode such as multi-language uh, application and some other features so as for uh, pending orders let me take a quick look one second um, yeah actually it's planned for q4 this year so uh, by the end of this year, we'll have this, this kind of feature, like pen, pending orders, implemented into our products. Okay. Okay, so next question. Uh, you have a lot of verifications, even video calls. How come most of your competitors don't have that many uh, steps of verifications? Okay, very good question. Um, uh, very good question. Uh, you know... Uh, what we do actually so we are making we are making we're <coughs> sorry building bridges between crypto and fiat we're trying to properly integrate crypto into the financial system right we'd like crypto and fiat uh, to work efficiently together so but that wouldn't be possible without following all all regulatory requirements all compliance rules and that's why we we have to do that we have to identify our users we have to identify transactions so, so Th that is just a normal practice for financial market. So uh, let me maybe give you some example. Uh, I believe many of you uh, have your accounts with Revolut, right? Uh, how did you open your Revolut account? Uh, I'm 100% sure that you did a video verification, uh, selfies, you know, license checks, you provided uh, Revolut with some paperwork. So I even don't speak about some traditional banks almost impossible to open account without without uh, verification right so basically if we speak about cryptos and fiat uh, in terms of payments in terms of uh, investments it just very similar things so it it's 
not possible to open the fiat account without verification and it's not possible to open crypto account without verification. So the, the positive side of that verification um, uh, topic is that, is that uh, you can sleep well because everything is identified, protected, uh, monitored, etc. etc. So comparing to DeFi without any KYCs, etc. If something happens, no one is responsible for that. So if we speak about Sapphire with um, identifications, so we have full responsibility, we have full uh, in information, all information about uh, uh, everything uh, in regards to, you know, security and uh, re regulatory, you know, uh, requirements. So, uh, but uh, I'd like to tell you that we're working hard uh, to make uh, this verification process as easy as as you know fast as possible so uh, we are constantly working on improvements on ui and ux side uh, of our applications uh, and actually we are actively hiring and currently we're also hiring some additional uh, teammates for our compliance team just to make your life easier just to process applications faster more efficiently etc etc so so thank you guys for uh, this question and for your passion uh, um, so uh, patience sorry uh okay moving next uh uh question about is about switzerland so you are a swiss based company but no saving accounts for swiss users why that and any other you entities uh german or uk okay let's start from the switzerland part so again it's it's all about regulatory requirements to provide being a Swiss company to provide Swiss users with uh, um, interest accounts for crypto, we have to complete some paperwork. We have to actually get additional license. So we are working on it. Uh, it taking some time. Uh, so stay tuned. It will come. It will come soon. So uh, as for other entities in uh, EU, so yes. So actually. Actually, guys, it's a secret. <laughs> I can tell you now uh, what what country will come next, but uh, I can tell you that uh, we are working on some tier one jurisdictions. Uh, we're working on a physical presence in some uh, top level tier one jurisdictions. So official announcements will come. Uh, it's again, it's not something. Uh, easy to do, it's not something fast, but uh, I, 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 I'm sure we'll have some interesting news for you in regards to our um, um, structure and uh, expansion strategy um, in the nearest future. So, okay, I'm going next. Uh, okay, recently you announced lower fees on multi hodl How is this working right now? right now right now it works great so uh, actually uh, we have implemented some simplified um, uh, commission model with some kind of unified fee with focus on commissions from uh, profitable deals and it works great so we are getting positive feedback from from, from you guys and we are getting uh, more volumes so that that's great so uh, we will keep keep uh, monitoring and we will keep uh, tuning you know that that, that 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 feature so all good okay so I have some list of questions in regards to again dark mode multi-language like Spanish language like like Italian language French language inside the application yes we have it and uh, actually uh, as for all that updates uh, it will come um, it will step by step uh, delivered uh, uh, starting from July and up until next of uh, up until end of the year so half uh, second half of the year is really heavy loaded in terms of product product developments so uh, okay so also guys I'd like to uh, um, tell you that we are actively hiring so if you'd like to join our team please visit our website uh, look at the career section 
So if you're strong enough to join our strong team, simply contact us. We will be happy to see you with us. So um, if you have other questions, anytime contact your, uh, our customer support. So send it to us. We will be happy to, to provide you with all the details in regards to everything. So guys, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.